Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is March the 31st, 2022. And before we jump into things here, I wanted to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a spreadsheet shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom playmat and card sleeves. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now with that being said, let's get moving. Starting the list off here today with King Suleiman from Arabian Nights. And this Arabian Nights reserve list card is down 5.67% today from $323.51 to $305.17 on the market. And its average price is $429.99. Next on the list is Goldspan Dragon from Kaldheim, and this mythic is down 6.18% from $27.83 to $26.11 on the market, and its average price is $29.99. The next loser on our list is another card from Arabian Nights, and it also happens to be a reserve list card. That card is Merchant Ship, and this card is down 6.43% today from $110.28 to $103.19 on the market, and its average price is $84.75. Next loser on our list is Jin Gataxis Progress Tyrant from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This mythic is down 9.12% today from $13.16 to $11.96 on the market and its average price is $14.73. And we've got Scalding Tarn from Modern Horizons 2. This card is down 9.43% today from $26.30 to $23.82 on the market and its average price is $29.99. Next up on the list is Honden of Cleansing Fire from Eternal Masters. This reprint is down 10.75% today from $9.86 to $8.80 on the market and its average price is $10.28. Our next loser on the list is Kappa Cannoneer. This is the extended art version from the Collector Booster Packs. It is down 15.11% today from $9.93 to $8.43 on the market and its average price is $10.57. Next loser is Mana Matrix from Legends, another reserve list card down 37.22% from $209.85 to $131.75 on the market, and its average price is $200.05. Our final loser of the day is another reserve list card, If Biff Afrit from Arabian Nights. This card is down 43.10% from $344.98 to $196.30 on the market, and its average price is $249.99. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Colossus of Sardia from Antiquities, which is from a Four Horsemen set. This card is up 6.32% today from 53.16 to 56.52 on the market, and its average price is $57.53. The cheapest copy is from 4th edition. That card is currently sitting at $0.30 cents on the market, and the original copy has a print run of only 31,000 copies printed from Antiquities. Next is Frankenstein's Monster from the Dark, a reserve list card up on our list today, 6.43% today from $36.40 to $38.74 on the market, and its average price is $39. This card also happened to have its print run disclosed, and there is only 134,000 copies printed from the Dark. And the next winner on our list today is Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. And this rare is up 7.60% today from $24.61 to $26.48 on the market. And its average price is $29.93. The showcase version of this card printed from the same set is currently sitting at $29.16 on the market. And its average price is $30.85. This card is currently seeing a lot of play in modern decks like Hammer Time, but it also sees some commander play in decks like Ishin 2 Heavens as One, as well as Hinata Dawn Crown and Shurikai Genesis Engine. And the next winner we have today on our winners section is 
Entomb from Odyssey. This is the original printing of this instant, and it's up 8.96% today from $40.96 to $44.63 on the market, and its average price is $57.99. Now, the reprint from Eternal Masters is currently sitting at $35.56 on the market, and its average price is $38.81. And the reprint from Ultimate Masters is sitting at $35.12 on the market, and its average price is $35.80. Seven cents. This card is seeing a lot of legacy play in Reanimator decks, obviously, also in Commander decks, though, like Marin of Clan Neltoth, and even Kirk, Son of Yogmoth decks in the Commander format. And the next winner we have today on our winner section is another black card, and that card is Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up today 9.61% from $10.72 to $11.75 on the market, and its average price is $13.99. The borderless version of this card released in the same set with different artwork is currently sitting at $16.42 on the market, and its average price is $18.59. Now this card is seeing a lot of play in the modern format, in decks like Blue Living End, Reanimator, Rakdos Midrange, Blink, as well as vintage decks like Hogak and Dredge, and to see some legacy play obviously in Reanimator decks as well, and Commander decks like Turgrid, God of Fright, and Tiny Bones, Trinket Thief. The next winner on our list is another card from an older set. This card is Bronze Tablet from Antiquities. This Antiquities Rare is up 10.75% today from $19.44 to $21.53 on the market, and its average price is $21.37. Now this card is from Antiquities, which means it did have its print run disclosed, and there is only 31,000 copies printed from the set. Our next winner on our list today is Second Chance from Urza's Legacy, another card from the reserve list. This card has been on our list a lot in the past two weeks. It's up again today, 11.42% from $17.25 to $19.22 on the market, and its average price is $29.99. Now, this card is seeing some commander play right now in decks like Aloro Ageless Ascetic, as well as Go Shinte of Life's Origin as an upgrade that was actually talked about on the commander's quarters. Next up is Time Elemental from Legends. This Legends Rare is up 20.92% today from $57.85 to $69.95 on the market and its average price is $54.95. The next winner on our list happens to be another Legends Rare, and that card is Nether Void, which also happens to be a reserve list card. It's up 37.38% today from $799.99 to $1,099 on the market, and its average price is $1,399.99. And we're going back to Arabian Nights for our final winner of the day, and that card is War Elephant. This is the light version of the card, and it's up 45.60% today from $45.24 to $65.87 on the market, and its average price is $49.97. The regular version of this card is a lot cheaper, sitting at $13.15 on the market, and its average price is $12.49. And when you compare print runs, you can see that the light version has a lot less printed at 31,000 copies, and the regular one, which is a lot cheaper, has 93,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Fumiko the Low Blood from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This foil is up 54.53% today from $71.49 to $110.47. Next foil is Chancellor of the Annex from New Phyrexia. This card is at 57.19% today from $26.44 to $41.56. Next up on our foil winner section today is... Persistent Specimen from Innistrad Double Feature, and this foil is up 61.28% from $2.66 to $4.29. Next foil winner on our winner section here today is Propaganda from the Secret Layer series. This card is up 66.67% from $30 to $50. 
And the next foil winner on our foil winners section is Lord of the Void from Gate Crash. This mythic is up 71.34% today from $35.03 to $60.02. And we've got Sundering Titan from Dark Steel. This foil is up 100.95% today from $14.79 to $29.72. Next foil winner on our winner section is Aspect of Mongoose from Time Spiral. This foil is up 117.66% today from $4.36 to $9.49. And the next foil winner on our winner section is Storm Shaman from 7th edition. This 7th edition foil is up 121.41% from $49.50 to $109.60. Next up on our list is Illuminate from Apocalypse, an old frame foil up 123.61% from $1.44 to $3.22. And our final foil winner of the day is Caravan Vigil from Innistrad. This card is up again, 142.17% from $0.83 cents to $2.01. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm? As yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform and all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. Also, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards are you most surprised to see on the list and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down for me to read also i do make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow for another magic the gathering market movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.